Now, Kenya is witnessing massive protests across the nation over a recent tax bill. The controversial tax bill was withdrawn by the Kenyan President William Ruto after hundreds stormed the Kenyan Parliament building while the bill that aims a big surge in taxes was being passed inside it. Now, protesters broke into the Parliament, vandalizing the interiors and setting parts of the complex on fire. Police fired upon protesters, killing at least 13 and injuring several others. The protests, however, continued despite the bill's withdrawal. In a fresh clash with the police near Nairoi, at least two people were killed and others shot by the police elsewhere as well. Kenyans are now planning fresh demonstrations against the government after the Kenyan president announced his decision to withdraw a controversial bill and have demanded President Ruto's resignation. Kenya, the financial bill 2024, has now aimed to levy additional taxes necessary to pay the country's high debt and would have raised the overall cost of living. If the bill had passed, basic amenities like bread, cooking oil, sanitary napkins would have become unreasonably expensive. Let's try and get in more perspective and for that I'm joined in by Herman Manyora who's a political analyst and is joining me live from Kenya. Many thanks to you Mr. Manyora for joining in on the newscast. Now uh, let's also talk about how has the popularity of the Kenyan president uh, been declining just because of the situation in Kenya. Could you shed more light on that? Certainly President William Ruto is paying for this. His popularity is declining. I'm sure if an opinion call, poll were conducted today, he would be shocked at the statistics. A president who started off as a popular person, sweeping the country, especially the, the unemployed, the poor, the youth, is end up, ending up being the one person, the young people, the poor people, will have nothing to do with. And therefore, this finance bill and the problems in the country in general are taking their toll on the popularity of the president and may indeed, at some point, if he doesn't take care, may cost him the presidency, either midstream or in the next election as he seeks for re-election. It's pertinent that you're talking about that impact of the protests, but you know, the protests continue in Kenya as we speak. So what lies ahead for the government and the people of Kenya, Mr. Manyora? President William Root of Kenya has withdrawn the contentious finance bill 2024. Question on board is, how will the government finance its expenditure. But more importantly, Kenya is in debt. How will they handle debt? The obvious answer is physical discipline. Stop wastage, stop corruption, and Kenya is able to finance its budget and pay its debt. But it must be pointed out, the finance bill that is being withdrawn was intended to give additional revenue of about $340 billion. And therefore, such a small amount of money cannot shake the budget or the government. What will happen is reorganize some expenditure items, prioritize, remove a few here and there, but more importantly, work on wastage and corruption. All right, Mr. Herman Maniora, thank you so much for joining us live on World 360. Thoroughly appreciate those inputs. And with that, it's a quick wrap from my end. Thank you so much for watching World 360 here on CNN News 8.